Well, good morning. I'm, uh, I'm glad that the uh, curtain has this little red hue to it because I'm blushing after that introduction, Ricky. That, thank you very much. <clears throat> good morning and welcome to you all as well uh, from Alberta Innovates Biosolutions. Um, uh, we've all heard about the nine billion people that we have to feed and how we have to increase uh, uh, productivity by about 70% in order to feed this nine billion people by 2050 and uh, do that in a way that's respectful of the environment and, uh, and uh, uh, allows sustainable production. Uh, uh, I'm gonna spend just a few minutes outlining how we're doing in Canada and uh, perhaps hinting at the potential size of the prize for Alberta food companies and those in Western Canada. Now, this is a little bit of uh, uh, an oxymoron because Ricky is the professor. He's the one that should have the presentation. I'm the one that's uh, a little more comfortable relying on visual aids. So uh, I'm going to present a few pictures and graphs just to get you thinking a little bit about what we could do in Alberta. There we go. So uh, let's take a look at Canada first of all. And I'd like to take the opportunity to tell you why we need to celebrate. The food sector, food manufacturing sector in Canada is a number one employer. It's also the number one contributor by GDP, $103 billion in 2012. So that's the latest statistics I could find. Over 6,000 food manufacturing companies across Canada but there's a but part to this too, and the but is is that we're only um, uh, converting 40% of the agricultural commodities we produce into value-added products. And most of this conversion happens in Eastern Canada, and I'm gonna get back to that a little later. But if we take a closer look at how we're doing in exports, we can see that of the three uh, commodity uh, categories that we have in Canada, that, which includes primary processing, that we're in a trade surplus situation. Yet if we look at processed foods, secondary processing, we're facing a rising trade deficit. This trend is continuing and reached uh, $6.8 billion in deficit in uh, 2013. Now Canadians spend about 181 billion on food each year. And some of these uh, grocery uh, dollars are for products that are produced in Canada, but increasingly there's competition for an, a volume of products that are imported from other countries. So think about the opportunity that Canadian food processors have in replacing those imported products. So if we take a look at how we're doing uh, uh, between provinces, we can see that three quarters of what Ontario produces is actually value added in terms of exported product. A lot of that goes to the US, yes, that's true. Yet when we take a look at Alberta's performance, uh, most of what we uh, export still is do it's dominated by agricultural commodity sales. So Alberta's per, uh, performance is also similar to that of other Western Canadian provinces. And yes, we do have an opportunity again to increase food manufacturing in uh, Western Canada. If we think about what's happening in Alberta, we really do have a cause for celebration. Last year, uh, in 2013, uh, we produced $12.6 billion worth of food and beverage products in the in in Alberta. Food manufacturing is Alberta's second largest manufacturing sector. So that again is cause for celebration. And I'll give you a few more stats. We have about, we have uh, at last count 457 companies in Alberta. Those companies are largely small and medium enterprises uh, located in Calgary and Edmonton but we employ about 27,000 people, which is a significant number as well. So we provide uh, uh, a good deal of the social fabric in rural Alberta, but also in our cities. So of that 12.6 billion that we produced last uh, a couple years ago, uh, a lot of that is red meat products. 26% uh, is in uh, further processed foods and 7% is in beverages. So again, we have the opportunity to add more value to 
uh, agricultural commodities in Alberta. And, uh, oops, there we go. So I've been hinting, perhaps not so subtly, that we do have some opportunities, but I do also recognize that the fa uh, sector faces challenges. We have strong global uh, competition. I talked a little bit about the rising number of imports that are coming from different countries, and a lot of these are lower cost than what we can produce in, Al in uh, Canada and in Alberta. We have uh, pressure from uh, consumer price sensitivity. They don't want to pay much more for groceries than what they're paying nowadays. Uh, but we also recognize that the cost of your inputs may be higher than that in other jurisdictions. The cost of raw materials, the cost of energy, cost of wastewater disposal, and so on. And uh, we end up recognizing that oftentimes your uh, low-margin, high-volume business, and you're so busy running your businesses that you have uh, less time to innovate than you'd like to. Because at the end of the day, what uh, many of you uh, food processors are entrepreneurs who have, uh, are excited about getting into the food business and uh, find little time to innovate uh, in today's environment. But I want to tell you that uh, innovation is important. And this simple diagram appeared in the report on competitiveness that Alberta produced a few years ago. Uh, when we take a look that, uh, at the pyramid, it, uh, it begins with a foundation. So does Alberta have all the ingredients that are necessary for your industry to grow? And yes, we could improve some things, especially on regulation and, and access to capital, but we do have good roads, truck and rail transportation, we've got good international airports, we've got uh, 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 good feedstocks and inputs, and we have an, a, a highly educated workforce, although we compete with the oil patch for some of those uh, people that we want to uh, attract to our businesses. But we also have a province that's committed to innovation and commercialization. And they've made investments in that area and continue to invest. Now, uh, my colleagues in the room and also our board of directors would uh, be disappointed in me if I didn't talk a little bit about Alberta Innovates Biosolutions. Ricky's given a really good introduction. But I'd like to tell you that one of our business lines is food innovation. And uh, uh, we are interested in supporting the development of competitive uh, consumer demand driven products. Uh, in fact, uh, when I took a look at our statistics, we invested $12 million since 2010 in food uh, applied research and product development. Those projects uh, value a total of $46 million. So we've made a significant investment over the years. Uh, the second part uh, of our food innovation portfolio has to do with food safety. And yes, we've invested heavily in that as well. Not quite as much as in food innovation. About $4.1 million, 19 projects since 2010. What the, the, our investments taught us, though, was that we needed to sharpen our focus in order to make a difference, to, make a, to have an impact. So we did some work with Conference Board of Canada, and Elizabeth and Peggy and others in, our, in this room did some internal analysis as well. And uh, we developed this Alberta Innovates Food Innovation Plan. Uh, copies of the plan, if you're interested, are at our table uh, to your right in the corner. And uh, this um, analysis indicated that our best uh, uh, opportunities for investment for growth in food in Alberta was in value-added ingredients, food and beverage products. No big surprise there, because we've got a good strength of industry, a good uh, a baseline of industry on which to uh, grow that area, but also functional foods and nutraceuticals. And finally, food safety and particularly meat safety. So those are our areas of emphasis today. So thank you very much for coming. I know that you're all very busy and you've taken time from your busy schedules to be here. I do appreciate that. Um, I hope I've outlined a little bit about the opportunity that we have in Alberta to capitalize on growing global and domestic markets. Innovation is key to success. And uh, so Alberta Innovates Biosolutions is proud to be a sponsor today. We hope that uh, you enjoy the presentations and you uh, learn a little bit from them. 
that you get a chance to build on your network and that you join us in celebrating the entrepreneurship uh, that uh, your industry is known for with the Alberta Food Awards. So thank you very much.